Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A, your opportunity to ask your Bible questions, and I will attempt to give you a Bible answer. Please keep your questions always Bible-related, because this is a Bible-focused ministry. That's what I do. That's what I've been doing for over 30 years, teaching the Word of God verse by verse at the Scripture Verse by Verse website where you can study the Bible in its entirety from Genesis through Revelation, three complete series going through the Bible using my audio Bible messages. Once again, that's at thebibleversebyverse.com. But this is a question and answer program, and we have a question from a listener today. And, uh, and she writes, Would you please explain the Scripture without faith? It is impossible to please God. Is this verse talking about salvation only, or is it talking about faith that we will receive whatever we are asking God for? No, it's not just talking about salvation, although we are saved by faith, so you can't be pleasing to God in the sense of him giving you salvation unless you believe his word about Jesus Christ and receive him as Lord and Savior <clears throat> as God's word instructs us to do. Um, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Refers to believing what he says, period. It refers to believing his word. Now, God was upset with Israel in the wilderness when they were traveling out of Egypt to the promised land. He was upset with them in the wilderness because they didn't believe his word. They didn't believe his word. He took care of them in Egypt. He provided for them. He promised them that he would take care of them and get them to the promised land. But at the first sign of any kind of discomfort or trouble, they started complaining and threatening to go back to Egypt. They didn't believe God. And that's what really upset him. And well, think about it. It is insulting when someone close to you doesn't believe what you are telling them, right? I mean, that hurts your feelings. It makes you feel bad. And, and you're a liar. The Bible says all men are liars. And it still upsets us when somebody doesn't believe us. Well, multiply that insult by infinity when you're talking about God. Because his character is flawless. And the Bible says that it's impossible for him to lie. So it's talking about believing God's word in general. If you don't believe God, then it doesn't matter what else you do or do not do. You're not pleasing him. Because that, that takes a shot right at his character when you don't believe him. That's insulting to God. I hope that helps. If you have a Bible question, send it to Scripture Verse by Verse at gmail.com. That's Scripture Verse by Verse at gmail.com. Dot com.